Wow, well, we've come to ETG today to show you a machine that is in stock right now. This is a lathe, but it's not just any lathe. This is one of the Nakamura Tomis, and they're so well known for this ridiculous configuration, Andrew. Um, thank you so much for talking to us today. What are we looking at right here? What you're looking at here is one of the WT150 Mark II lathes. What this stands for is you have twin spindle, uh, spindle on the left, spindle on the right, and you have twin turret. Yeah, fantastic. And looking at this, um, you've got a lot packed in a quite a tight space here. Um, and what kind of components can customers to be, to be expecting to make on something with twin turrets with all this driven tooling, taps, big drills? What, you're looking at quite a complicated component, I guess. Not always necessarily a complicated component. A lot of companies are making components in multiple operations at the moment. Big advantage with the twin spindle and twin turret is you can make those components in one visit to the machine. Yeah. The way the machine is structured, you can operate the upper turret to the left spindle, the lower turret to the right. You can operate the upper turret to the right, the lower to the left, both on the left, both on the right, so it's completely multitasking. That's brilliant. And that's why I guess you've got the driven tooling facing this way and driven tooling facing the that's other way correct. as well. Yes, that's correct. Fascinating. And I guess when you've got components that need um, faced uh, end work, end working done on both sides and on the OD, um, work on the OD and the ID, then this machine could basically do all those components in one hit. Absolutely. It, it's to improve productivity and to get the components off in minimum setups one operation, raw material in, finished component eight. Absolutely, and what happens to your cycle times when you can uh, cut on one side and the other at the same time? You're gonna reduce your cycle times, you're gonna increase the accuracy of the components because you're cutting operations in one setup, and therefore the end product for the customer is quicker, finished, ready to go out the door. Brilliant, quicker finished parts just from this part of the lathe, but there's also, there's a lot more to the machine as well, isn't there? There is indeed. Yeah. A lot of companies now are looking for automation on machines, and this Nakamura comes with the fastest gantry loading system available on the market. Fast, that sounds fantastic, fascinating. Let's have a quick look at it. Now this is kind of the business end here. This is the business end, so this is the GR203 high speed. As you can see, there are two grippers. This is for the load and the unload. And this gantry is also equipped with a Y-axis so it can move to the center line very quickly and do two-axis movement. Wow. Now, the way the gantry loader will work, down here we have a stocker system. And this is generally used for components that are outside the bar feed capacity of the machine. So you can stack the number of parts depending on the thickness and the gantry will load a part into the spindle, get the second part ready. When the machine does a transfer, it is then ready to load another part. Yeah. It will then pick up another part, ready, it'll unload and drop back down, so therefore it keeps synonymous movement. Brilliant. So not only are you reducing your cycle times with uh, two ups at once in the, in the lathe itself, you're improving your productivity by being able to run this unmanned lights out. I absolutely, guess. absolutely. There's different um, setups of the pallet system available. This is a rotary system with a rise and fall component load. You can have this to be uh, an extended pallet system. So really we tailor the bottom end of the unit to suit the customer's actual requirements. Brilliant, and you, can you mix different kinds of components in this stacker as well? Normally you wouldn't mix different sizes. Or you can, if it's the same size material, you can manufacture different components. So different part families, I guess. Families, absolutely. Fantastic. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about component applications now. And you mentioned components not being over a certain bar, di over the certain bar feed diameter you want a gantry load. But I guess when castings come in like this, you can't bar feed a casting. You can't bar feed a casting, and this is an ideal scenario with the Nakamura range of machines. Normally, if you you would have to line this up onto a fixture, and make sure if you need to mill these mill these portions out here that they're in line for what you want to do. With the Nakamura machine, you can automatically find out where these points are without a probe on the turret. The NT nurse side of some of the high level functions will take care of that for you. Absolutely. But again, this part would normally have a turning operation, a milling operation, and a turning operation here. Yeah, could you imagine trying to send that round the whole workshop? There's so much work in progress happening. It's a lot of work in progress, and it's also a risk of error from the first setup to the second to the third. Okay. By maintaining it in one production unit, Accuracy and part quality is guaranteed. Perfect. So 
good complicated components or simple comp components made in one hit automated unmanned that's nakamura tomi